We are going to move on to immigration, but I want to get your reaction. He said we have to help our small businesses by raising the minimum wage. That's not helping. I I think it should be a state option. Alabama is different than New York. New York is different from Vermont. Every state is different. It should be a state you, option. You said very we recently. We have to help. It's very important. We have to help our small businesses. You, you How said, are you helping your small businesses when you're forcing wages? What's going to happen and what's been proven to happen is when you do that, these small businesses fire many of their employees. You said very recently you would consider raising You said very recently you would consider raising Pizza Hut restaurants across the state will no longer use their own employees to deliver pizza. Franchise owners are expected to cut more than 1,000 delivery drivers starting in February. KTVU's LaMonica Peters live now in San Jose with more from a local analyst who tells us how the new minimum wage requirement plays a role in this decision. When you're forcing wages, what's going to happen and what's been proven to happen is when you do that, these small businesses fire many of their employees. You said Not true. Recently- Julie, I spoke to an analyst who says that Pizza Hut isn't known for delivering pizzas. What? Since when? And now that they are asking them to pay higher wages to their drivers, it's just not working for their bottom line any longer. Starting in February, Pizza Hut lovers will no longer be able to order delivery directly from the local restaurant. And one customer we spoke to isn't happy about it. I think it's a horrible decision, you know. Uh, We should definitely um, put money in the community so everybody can survive. Everybody out here is having a hard time right now. That's Bidenomics. Pizza Hut franchise owners recently announced that they will cut over 1,200 delivery jobs throughout the state next year. In April, under Assembly Bill 1228, the minimum wage requirement for fast food restaurants increases to $20 an hour. So, what did we learn? Trump's been right about everything. And if you think about it, I really have. Things are going to get worse before they get better. 